Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter 12 of Dragon Masters, Land of the Spring Dragon. Chapter 12, The Spring Dragon. I can't let the ogre hurt you, Breen, Drake yelled. He bravely faced the ogre. If you want Breen, you'll have to go through me, he called out. The ogre stomped up to Drake. Drake could feel the monster's hot breath on his face. Stay back, Drake warned, balling his hands into fists. The ogre ignored Drake. He moved past him and pulled apart the bars on the cave with his strong arms. Breen calmly stepped through the opening. Thanks, Blorp, Breen said. Did I do a good pretending job? Blorp asked. Breen nodded. The best. Drake stared at them. You mean, he's not dangerous? Drake asked Breen. Blorp, no, he's a softy, Breen said. She waved to the ogre. See you later. The ogre marched off. That was another trick? Drake asked, but he wasn't angry with Breen. A wave of relief washed over him. Another test, and you passed, Breen said. You stayed to protect me when you could have run away to save yourself. Now Fallon knows you can be trusted. Drake's heart was still pounding. That was a pretty scary test. Fallon has to be careful, Drake, Breen said. There are greedy people in the world, people who would steal her and use her powers just for themselves. That is why she lives in secret and why she will only help those who are worthy. So does that mean I get to see Fallon now? Drake asked. Breen grinned. Follow me. She led him out of the cave. Breen led Drake into a bright meadow. A beautiful green dragon sat on a hill covered with flowers. Her wings looked like big leaves and tiny leaves sprouted from her body. Fallon, we made it, Breen said. Her dragon stone began to glow. Breen smiled. Fallon says that you have been very brave and smart, Drake, she said. She will help you. Thank you, Fallon, Drake said. Can we go see my dragon worm? He can take us to Bracken right away. Breen climbed onto Fallon's back. Come on, Drake, she said, helping him up. The spring dragon flapped her wings and flew into the air. They soared over the forests and meadows. Finally, Fallon landed and Breen and Drake climbed off her back. They walked through the same tunnel as before until they came to a dirt wall. Fallon glowed and a hole opened up. They stepped back into Innis Banba. Worm was waiting for them. I knew you would find Fallon, he told Drake. Good job. Thanks, Worm, Drake said. He held out his hand to Breen. Touch Fallon, and then I'll touch Worm, he instructed. Once we're all connected, we can transport. I've never been outside in a spamba before, Breen said. This is exciting. She grabbed Drake's hand and put one hand on her dragon. Then Worm transported them all to Bracken in a burst of green light. End of chapter 12. We'll see you soon for chapter 13. Bye-bye.